Hey everybody, how's it going? It's I'm E503. So, anyway, just did a lot of system tuning. I know it's kind of hard to see because I'm at my favorite place tonight where there's usually nobody. But I wanted to give you a pretty good indication of, <laughs> of the car. And this device has some pretty good microphones. I'm actually going to go and get some um, custom ones in just a second. But if you take a look at it, I just want to walk around the car. Now, again, it's at full volume. But I guarantee you there is no distortion except a blown woofer. Uh, I, I, I blew a woofer earlier. Uh, yeah. So, anyway, why don't you go ahead and take your sight over here. Hopefully it won't overload. Yeah, I mean, it's it's pretty cool. I got my little tripod down. So I didn't get my other tripod, but if you're hearing from over here, because you should be able to get a stereo sound on this side. And over here. All right. I want you to hear right here, up in the middle of the vehicle. No vibrations on any panels at all. This is what I'm using, no jokes. Got these all tuned up perfectly. Like I said, no panel vibrations whatsoever, right? Even over here? Oh yeah, dude, it's, it's solid. Look at that, I'm hitting it. It's dead, it's dead. This one, hear the difference? So. Again, I want you to hear the difference between the panels, because this is important. So this is a deadened panel right here. That's dead, all right? That's a dead panel. Now, this is a panel that has not been acoustically treated. All right, let's do it again. All right, hold on, we're gonna wait for the, for the thing to go by. And, okay, two cars are going by. Get it nice and quiet again. All right, I want you to listen to this. That, that's, that's a dead panel. This is a panel that has not been treated. This is just from the factory, okay? Because again, I have no speakers back here, but I really should treat this anyway. Listen. All right. Tin can, well, it's not close to a tin can, but it's pretty damn close. This, I think, just has just spray in it. And that's why it's just that. I mean, otherwise it'd be more tinny. If you want to hear tinny, Hear that? Yeah, baby, that's tinny. So just a spray adhesive, that's all it does. If you do the real, spend the money. Hear what I mean? Now, here's the back portion. See? Hard to get in those areas. You can do the spray foam. I don't recommend it, but it's okay. Now, this panel right here. Yeah, it's all been sound dead. Oh. Give me a second, we're at the train going over. Or not train, but the uh, airplane. All right. So, yeah, that's all dead. Completely dead. Dead all the way through. Now, listen to this door panel. Yeah, man, you hear that shaking? That's the stuff right over here. This door panel still has yet to be deadened. Watch this. I think I just did some spray. That's it. Why don't you hear the difference? Hear that? This thing is so dead. It's literally like, like it's, it's, man, B&W would be proud, all right? Huh. So, and again, if if you get it just right, dude, like I said, I'm, I'm not kidding. You know, you'll get, and, and, I, and I know it sounds stupid, okay? But if you do it right, you get a lot more definition in the upper mid-range, okay? And that's really important because, again, you know, it, it seems like your drivers over here, should all the bass should be coming from here. 
You can't do that because your doors, just like Peter at PS Sound, they'll just rattle. All right. I mean, most people don't understand just how much acoustical mass or real energy is actually being transmitted um, by mid bass frequencies. And again, and you have to understand something at about 100 hertz, all right, you really start getting into the pistonic motion of the driver. And, you know, a good bass drum hit goes like, you know, it's it's way down here at 60. You'll see stuff all the way down to like 30, all the way up, because it's a, it's a wide band instrument, right? And so the thing is, if you put that in the door, even though, right, like in a standard door, you got no, you got absolutely no chance, none whatsoever. Okay. You will actually hear it. Now I want you to listen to, I just, I'm going to stop talking for a second so you can listen to the sound ambience here. It's really quiet here, right? Now, if you have your bass hitting, that's what you're going to hear with your sound. Now, if you deaden completely and you set up everything else right, it's going to sound like this. Barely audible. But again, you're still going to get you're still going to get some, especially if you run them really low. If you run them under 100 hertz, you're still going to get panel vibrations, almost like an NXT speaker where it's like a distributed mode loudspeaker. That's basically, you know, what happens if you do a shitty install. So anyway, other than that, paint shop going really soon after after I finish taking care of some other stuff. But anyway, um, I did do something new back here. I did install some LEDs. I'll show that to you in a little bit. I mean, I really don't want a base out here or anything like that. That's not why I came out here. Um, and, but, you know, as far as for sound quality checks, and again, I had a problem with my levels, and I'll show those to you really quick. So, right here, if you take a look, yeah, dude, that's still not enough to cool it. I mean, it, it doesn't overheat. I'll, I'll tell you that. But the problem with that is that it, it just doesn't move enough air for that guy when you're really loading it down. And at this time, I'm, I'm probably running maybe a actual 4 ohm load. Actual, okay? Even though I have these two and those two, I was really running at about 6 ohms. And so the amp was starting to, to clip so early. And again, if you want to do it with these inexpensive amplifiers, you can do it. All right, don't let anybody tell you you can't. All right. Anyway, this is I'm Mickey Five Zero Three. I'll have this video uploaded probably, you know, a couple couple days or something like that. I gotta finish doing some editing. But uh, I'm telling you guys, you can do it. You really can. Okay. Oh, am I am I focused all the way in? I sure hope not. Oh no, I'm not. It's just my camera has on this guy has a very like you have to get like way back here in order to get the whole darn shot. See what I mean? Unfortunately, that's just kind of one of the issues when you're doing like night photography. Yeah, but that's it. Anyway, I hope to see you guys later. Again, this is iMickey503. Have a great one. Peace.